Hello. Cathar Love number 49. Alien Cathar Surprise. Oh, uh, Happy New Year. May it be full of uh, magic and wonder for you. Actually, in the previous uh, and sessions, I've talked about we transform our lives, we take that, we make that effort. We make that first effort to transform our lives, get it above the ordinary, uh, move towards our higher consciousness, etc., etc., higher selves. Then we're transcending the ordinary, and in that, in that transcendence, wonderful things, amazing things, magical things, mystical things, surprises, miracles even, will occur. So what I'm about to tell you uh, is in that category. And, and what it is, these things are a signpost. They're there. The, the, the divine, your guides, whoever they are, they're not going to write you a letter. Dear Johnny. No, it doesn't work that way. What they want you to be is receptive to their <laughs> unique, unique, unusual and sometimes extraordinary way of contacting you and sometimes they just talk to you which they did for me my bride did my guy did for some 10 years and now i only occasionally hear her voice miss it actually but this is these things that happen to you are signposting you that you're on the right journey for yourself because Gnosticism, Catholicism, Catharism is all about a journey, a process but it's a journey and a process about you not your kids, not your family, not your girlfriend, not your boyfriend, not your mother, not your father, you <coughs> this is why it can't be made into religion because it's about you, it's a philosophy it's not about having followers and churches and everybody following you and you're the boss and you're the leader and you're the Pope and you're the Dalai Lama no, no, no Gnosticism, Catharism is simply about the individual. The individual's journey or the inner, the soul, the divine spark, that journey from its creation till it returns to the source. We've spoken about that before. Now, let me begin at the beginning. This book here, We Are One Another by Dr. Arthur Gurdon. On page 66, there was this diagram A and 12 tower crosses. The story really started with this book, We Are One Another, by Dr. Arthur Gurdon. On page 66, there were some designs drawn up by a Miss Mills, which he showed to Dr. Gurdon, but he found it difficult to decipher especially A. This is a larger diagram of the diagram A in the book with the 12 tower crosses on the outside. They could be tower crosses but they could also be the letter T. And he couldn't quite work out what it was but what happens that the Cathars use that symbol, uh, the women wear it as a type of girdle on their blue or dark green gowns, and it meant, it denoted that you were a healer because the Cathars were very big in, in teaching and healing. So people say, oh, they're, they're against materialism and the, the, the body and all these different. No, <laughs> if, you, if you're against worldly things, you'd hardly spend all that time in becoming healers and helping uh, your friends, family and other people, no matter who they were, healing the sick. So they were, they, they were into having a healthy body. But in that diagram, I thought it had to come from somewhere. Now this is in 1974 when I first bought this book, according to the date on the inscription 
and then I, with uh, as I used to do some drafting, with uh, the drawing board, T square, etc., etc. I, I drew up the uh, Qatar mandala, and from this you can see the distinctive cross arms of the Qatar cross, very distinctive. The Qatar cross is quite distinctive from this cross, which is a cross of Toulouse, the house of Toulouse in uh, south of France, which actually would have amused the Cathars because uh, this cross actually means the empty cross, which the uh, Cathars could have related to. But it is quite distinctive and different, and uh, certainly not the same as the actual Cathar cross, as on the mandala. The Cathar cross is quite distinctive. and it comes from the Cathar Mandala. I've become, over a period of time, uh, interested in crop circles, uh, seeing uh, some of the first, the ones that hit the, the paper big time and went international, uh, was in the, uh, all the, uh, the international media, was some crop circles, uh, which were in from my hometown in Tully in North Queensland, Australia. And that was in 1966. And the crop circles from that point onwards, they became uh, from very basic shapes, became more and more complex. There have been a number of people who are hoaxers and so forth, and uh, they do a good job, but in doing so, they obviously break the straw and uh, they thrash it around. And uh, But when the crop circles are made, the straws are made flexible through microwaves or whatever the system and then they're bent over and they're twirled and they're intertwirled and intertwined and made into these magical, mystical, wonderful patterns. The largest being the human the, uh, the uh, human butterfly, which is some 1260 feet long. So I'm interested in, in, in the crop circles and I've uh, just as things of beauty, as uh, quite apart from looking for any ulterior message, I just like the sheer beauty of the crop circles and the fact that yin and yang. Butterflies, now butterflies are uh, what you call it, a symbol of friendship and there's quite a lot of butterflies. Hearts, there's ones to do with hearts. There's also showing me the chakras, and as they go through that, where the heart chakra is, they have a heart. The crop circles are obviously appealing to those or people's higher consciousness to because they're, 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 they're magical and they're mystical, sacred geometry. So I'm going through these various crop circles. I, I take uh, photographs and I was talking to my partner, Monica, and she said, there you are. And she picked it out on one. There was this Cathar cross. And there, there's this Cathar cross. So that's okay. Now, while doing the crop circles, I became aware of the, 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 the crop circles in Wiltshire, uh, that uh, near the observatory, the, the radio telescope, the, the first ones that came out was a, 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 a crop circle showing a, a human face. Next it was the... Uh, uh, a pattern uh, that was sent out some 20 years, 20 years earlier, SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence uh, from Mexico, and here was a similar information uh, sent back, and that was absolutely amazing. And that, that face was a, a, human, a humanoid face, the same as ours, not necessarily like mine, possibly more like yours than mine. The next one that came out was definitely 
certainly not like yours, and certainly not like mine. It was a very specific alien face. Now, a number of people uh, looked at that disc and realised that it was a code, and realised it was a binary code, ASCII. And there were eight, uh, two groups of four make a, a byte, one, uh, eight, eight ones and zeros. And then a number of people deciphered it. Uh, one was certainly uh, Paul Viger. The message, uh, I'll show you the message. The Crabwood Disc Translation. Beware of the bearers of false gifts and broken promises, much pain out there, but still time. Believe, there is good out there. We oppose deception. Conduit closing, comma. So from this exercise, which I was, I thought was very interested in. When the Cathar, and that was some months ago, suddenly this Cathar cross arrived, and it was definitely a Cathar cross. But in the middle circle, I saw ones and zeros, and I thought, oh, that looks like a, a binary code to me. There's a little triangle there on the bottom left as a starting point. So I started. Capital C, hmm. capital T, oh, nothing's happening here. What, what? There's no word that I'm aware of in English that goes CT. Cat, cot, but certainly nothing CT. So I thought I may be on the wrong track. I'll try the next one. Now here, binary codes you normally read them backwards. The next one, this, the binary code was a binary code, but it went clockwise. And it was a capital H. So straight away, I called out to my partner, Monica, come in here. She came in. I said, look at this. I said, I will guarantee you. I will guarantee you the next letter is what? A capital R. And we read the binary, and there it was, capital R, C T H R. Ah, oh. Cathar cross, pretty close to Cathar. Oh, these two little triangles up on the right. They denote, to my mind, that there's the two letters, the two A's that are missing, Cathar. Up on the upper left segment, we have six little triangles just scattered around uh, willy-nilly denoting to me that there's six letters in the name C-A-T-H-A-R quite a nice neat little message Cathar cross Cathar and coming out in binary well <laughs> it's not every day one receives an extraterrestrial intergalactic uh, mode of communication and I thought that's great I feel fantastic but who else knows about it there's you people that I talk to and have a chat with and uh, certainly in Europe quite a few people know about Cathars but you can wander around week after week in Australia and say oh, by the way have you heard of Cathars and you wouldn't get too many replies saying yes and in America you get even less but in England, in France, in Sweden, in Germany because it's a part of their medieval history so uh, they, 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 they're very well aware of the Inquisition and how the Inquisition started to wipe out the Cathars so it's far more it's part of their history it's not really part American, Canadian, Australian, New Zealand uh, history. For us, it's those who are interested in uh, philosophy, uh, our moving towards our higher consciousness, trying to perfect ourselves, reading about other people who were into that, uh, into universal love, unconditional love, things like that. 
and uh, other groups who are into that and, and doing that if you are pursuing these particular areas or goals or pursuits sure you'll come across the Cathars at some point in time but of the people who may have seen that Cathar cross and even may have seen the binary uh, code there to them it, it's quite, quite the CTHR would make no sense at all and uh, whereas to me it's quite a, a very cute neat uh, and uh, yeah, not a difficult thing to work out at all. So this, I don't know if you do the Jing, the uh, it's regarded as the oldest book in the world, and I've been doing it for about forty years. Many of you aren't even forty, but I only do it when I feel that there's something that I, I, I really need to know and and uh, and uh, I, I don't worry about the future I don't care too much about the past uh, I, I don't worry at all in fact I, I flow with what's happening I take on board what's going on if I can do something about it I do it if I can't do about it well if 600 people slide into the ocean I'm sorry they slid into the ocean uh, 600 people died but we're all gonna die they just all happen to die at the same time and we, we tend to make an abstraction, oh, 600 people died, isn't that terrible? But the 600 people, I mean, there's thousands of people dying on the road, but they're dying one tomorrow and three the next day and, 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 and 20 next week and then one, and because they're scattered and so forth, we don't too much, take too much notice of it. But we can only die once. We can only go through any discomfort or pain or whatever it is that once. If there's 300 people who happen to die at that one particular time, it's not 300 times the pain, each person can only have that degree of pain and everyone's going to die anyway. And of course, from a Cathar point of view, uh, the door, this door closes, the next door opens and wow, you're looking forward to, if any of there's a group, if you're, if you're really into Catharism, then you're looking forward to death because it's taking you on to the next journey and, and beyond. I mean, if we're living for, you're created from the point of creation, uh, we're given the gift of immortality for eternity, well, each life is merely a glitch. But, coming back to our Cathar cross that was uh, made into a crop circle, C quite apart, it's, it's a Cathar cross, it's stating Cathar, so it's stating the obvious in that respect. And, uh, but what, what's it really saying to me, to you, to those people who are who are interested or even vitally interested in, in Cathar philosophy. Well over and over and over in the crop circles you're seeing hearts, butterflies, there's nothing about hate, intolerance, it's all about certainly love and friendship opening up, uh, trying to see uh, some say they've had their meetings with some say with Eisenhower, who are aliens, and the, and uh, there could be uh, uh, those other aliens are not too happy with things that have actually happened and agreements that have already been made. That's according to the, the the disc. We can read these things into it. One we don't know. We may know at some point in time. But certainly. They had the powers to wipe us out if they wanted to and what they seem to be doing is trying to stop us from destroying ourselves. So all their messages seem to be of hope, of help, helping us change, of moving towards our higher self. So you have the uh, crop circle showing yin and yang. Movement the dy dy dynamics of yin and yang, this is universal. Uh, is it also showing with Catharism that unconditional love for all, universal love, this is surely also universal. One could read many, many, many things into it and, uh, uh, and my theory, <laughs> or your theory, is as good as mine. I just think it's absolutely wonderful that 
and I have no doubt they're extraterrestrials. And certainly those crop circles, some of them are so complex, they're impossible to be man-made. And there's been 10,000 of them. So who, which government or society or who group has the money and the time and the effort to be doing that anyway, if they could do it? It's, this is a sign. To me, it's signposting that Catharism as a philosophy, as a universal philosophy, is recognized by the extraterrestrials within our cosmos. And that to me is very, very heartening. And uh, so to, to those of you who are within that Cathar circle or moving towards that Cathar circle or Gnostic circle, and specifically Gnostic Catharism, to see that crop circle as the Gnostic cross, this is very heartening, it's very inspiring, and it also shows that Catharism is recognized as, well, it's certainly recognized by extraterrestrial beings. So, uh, it was a wonderful year, wonderful way to end the last year and a fabulous way to start this coming year, to have something like that arrive on a crop circle and, and, and have the, uh, the good fortune to recognize it. And I wish you all the very, very, very best for the coming year and the years ahead. Bye for now.